Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with some more Arcade 1UP news and updates and I had to switch the camera angle a little bit for this video because as you can see by the top of my head, the sun decided to come into my room today for some reason. So, um, by now all of you guys have seen all of the leaks for the Fast and the Furious Arcade 1UP Stand Up Racing Cab. And initially I wasn't going to make a video covering this topic because by the time I was able to get around to covering it, the news was kind of already old so it was kind of pointless because everybody had already done videos about it at this point. But I was watching Justin Console Kits' video, uh, he, he did the video yesterday, I watched it today, and it, he made me realize that I actually had a pretty unique perspective on this cabinet because I am such a huge Fast and the Furious fan and so many people are against this cabinet um, because they wanted uh, Cruising USA or Daytona USA and nobody asked for Fast and the Furious. A lot of people in the community are very upset about this cab. Not, I wouldn't even know if upset is the right word but more so confused and asking why and a lot of people just aren't really that hyped about this cab. But I think this cabinet makes perfect sense from Arcade 1UP standpoint. I'm looking at this as somebody who is a, like I said, a huge Fast and the Furious fan. I have seen every movie, I have all the Blu-rays of the movie, I think all on Steelbook, I have, um, you know, a whole display behind me of Fast and the Furious diecast cars, and I even have my tickets to see the movie that's coming out in like a month or something. I, I've had those tickets for probably like a month at this point. So, um, you know, I'm a huge Fast and the Furious fan. and. To me, it makes more sense for Arcade 1UP, at least, to put out this cab. It, it makes perfect sense. Like, I don't really understand the confusion about it, but maybe that's because I am such a big Fast and the Furious fan. Fast and the Furious as a franchise is way bigger than Cruising USA or Daytona USA could ever be. It, it's, it's pretty plain and simple. So, for the arcade enthusiasts and, and purists and gamers out there, yeah, I, I completely understand. Cruising and Daytona are way more popular games for us gamers and probably arguably more fun games or better games uh, just depending on what you grew up on. But Fast and the Furious is a way bigger franchise. It not only covers, you know, gamers, because I'm sure most of us enjoy Fast and the Furious, um, but it also covers people who are into the Fast and the Furious franchise and all the movies, but also people who are into cars. When you look at it from that aspect, it actually makes more sense for Arcade 1UP to put out a Fast and the Furious cab over Cruisin' or Daytona USA. You look at it like this, right? You're, you're a non-gamer. You're just a casual fan, right? Just a casual person strolling through Walmart. If you see that Fast and the Furious Arcade 1UP cab, you're probably going to be more tempted to pick that up than you would be if you saw Cruisin' or Daytona. The casual person isn't picking up Cruisin' or Daytona. But the casual person, they may not necessarily pick up Fast and the Furious, but they're definitely going to consider it. Especially being a car guy, I can definitely tell you that pretty much like every car guy seeing that Fast and the Furious arcade cab in the stores would 100% pick that up on an impulse buy. But Cruisin' and Daytona, they're going to take a glance at it and probably walk past it, right? Same with Ridge Racer, like a lot of car guys aren't picking up Ridge Racer, but arcade fans definitely are. So when you look at it from that aspect as just like a, fa a casual person, which is ideally who Arcade 1UP is trying to get. They're trying to get more um, new customers who may not have you know, our, like us fans, we're gonna buy what we're gonna buy. Whatever they put out, we're gonna buy what we want. But Arcade One Up isn't pandering. I, I don't know if pandering is the right word, but Arcade One Up isn't necessarily always catering to us and what we want. They want to get new people in. So you figure if they can reel in somebody who's never bought an Arcade One Up before, and uh, they they see that Fast and the Furious, they buy it. That may lead them to buy a Pac-Man or a Street Fighter or whatever else is on the market. They may want to check out more Arcade One Up cabs. So from that aspect of just trying to get new customers in and just new fans that don't know about RK one up or never purchased RK one up before i think it makes the perfect sense you got the movie right around the corner and i don't know to me it just it just makes perfect sense and i am very excited about it i don't know if i'm excited enough to the point where i'm personally going to pick it up if money and space wasn't an option uh then sure but you guys already know like i'm limited on space in here i got a daughter on the way so um i just i have to be smart about the decisions i'm making and to be honest if i'm going to buy anything it's going to be nfl blitz before i buy fast and the furious 100 percent but i just think Looking at it from that perspective, it just makes so much more sense. And then hopefully, you know, hopefully Fast and the Furious does well. And 
maybe that will lead into cruising or daytona you never know um me personally i would be a little bit more excited to see daytona over cruising that's just my personal opinion i personally like daytona a little bit more um but it is also going to be interesting with fast and the furious that may be one of just thinking about it one of the more graphically intense games that rk one up has done so far so it will be also interesting to see how that game runs i think marvel vs. capcom 2 and killer instinct were some of i'm just thinking or maybe even like golden t or some of the more graphically intense games that they've done recently um but i think fast and furious is actually uh kind of like on another level in terms of graphics so it will be really interesting to see how that game runs and whatnot but yeah i i, th I think that's it that's just kind of like my aspect and how i look at it. it it just makes so much sense to to release fast and furious i think fast and furious has the greater chance to be more successful than cruising or daytona does down the line because you're going to reach a lot more people with fast and the furious than you would cruising or daytona 100 percent like daytona and cruising you're going to get the people in the community the fans the want it but you're not going to get a lot of people outside of that it's kind of like a niche thing right but fast and the furious appeals to some people like us in the community but also just a ton of other people that are outside of the community so i, I don't know i hope it does well i don't know if it's going to do well um but it's definitely going to have more reach and appeal more to the casual gamer as well as just the general public i think so yeah it's going to be interesting like i said i'm not like i'm excited for it but i'm not like oh my god i need this right now type of thing and i do wish that it came in kind of like a sitting down version i, I think it's kind of strange to play racing games standing up i know there are like the og cab has a sitting down and a standing up version but i would prefer some sort of sitting down version i think that would be really really cool and that probably uh just having that sitting down version may kind of sway me I, I probably still wouldn't get it but it would push me just a little bit closer off of the edge of actually purchasing it so um may maybe they'll do like a standing and a sitting version like they did with star wars we have no idea but uh everything's been leaks up to this point maybe if the standing one does good they'll come out with a sitting one who knows who knows but I, i'm pretty excited to see where it goes and, and where it takes us and it's just exciting to have let me get back in focus it's just exciting to have new arcade one up stuff coming out that we haven't seen before granted it's not going to be everything that everybody wants but what cab really is like you know as for as many people that were excited and happy about marvel vs. capcom 2 there were equally just as many people that could care less about the fighting games and want some more of those classic 80s games so it, it really just comes down to personal preference but there's i don't think there's ever going to be just one cab that satisfies everybody across the board i think that's physically impossible um but i am pretty excited about this one so let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think are you excited for this fast and the furious cab do you not care uh would you rather have um cruising or daytona usa let me know down in the comments below but i think it just makes it makes perfect sense to release this over this like i can understand from a, a marketing and a business standpoint why arcade went up and went the fast and the furious route over cruising or daytona but anyways that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share the video with your friends be sure to follow me on instagram that link's in the description down below and i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time